Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on this channel. Today we are using screen transitions in Adobe Experience Design and we are starting out by choosing one of the predefined UI kits, in this case just the Apple iOS UI kit and we get this window right here with all of these screens that are available to us. Now we have many screens right here to choose from and to just create a simple prototype, a simple uh, screen transition, you usually create one of these screens right here and you create a destination screen. And what we are going to do now is to just use these two screens right here for the things that we are going to do. So simply select prototype and after that you are able to select certain elements in this first screen. For example this content area which will be able to uh, generate a clickable area. You can also choose the whole artboard to be clickable and we will of course just go for this in our content area. Then after that you see this little arrow right here that you can grab and you can simply drag it over to any screen, to any destination that you want. And of course we want to have this detailed uh, test, uh, text message screen to be the destination. So here we have the details about the, tra the transition. We can choose uh, what to do. So for example, it will slide in from the left. I will show all of them to you in a second. And we can say to select a different target, different uh, destination. And we can of course choose a different easing. You can say I want a different duration, for example a slow one that is one second long or you can also keep the 0 0.2 seconds. Now what you after that are able to do is to simply hit the play button right here and you get this little window. On this little window you get like a preview of the prototype that you just built and we can simply tap this area right here. You see the cursor is changing to a hand, so it's a clickable area and when we click it, it's sliding over to this second screen. Of course, we can also say we want, it, we want to have a link back to the first screen. So we can simply go for this arrow right here and we want this arrow to link to this screen. Uh, we can of course say we want to slide right, slide left and in this case we of course want to have a slide right animation and if we test it out in this live prototype you see that we can navigate between these two screens. Now let me show you the different, the different animations that you can choose. So we had slide left, slide left is sliding the new screen in from the from the right to the left you can say slide right slide right will slide our new screen in from the left to the right we can say slide up this is also something that you will probably use when uh, working with cards or something like that right here we can say slide down which will slide down from the top and we can say it should actually do nothing but making a nice fading animation like that. That's basically all you can do at the moment. These are the screen transitions. You can of course change the easing and so on but usually you can just say you want to ease out and we can still uh, record a video of the prototype that we just built. So you see this little red dot right here and the timer and we can just say record. Now it's recording, you see the timer is showing up and we can navigate within our prototype. We can click, we can do anything we want. I think we can even change the animation and while our recording is running we get this different uh, 
animation there, which we changed live. This is a very neat feature that you can, while recording, change the actual animation, the actual transition. After you click this right here, you get a nice little window which can look like this or like that and you can save up your recording. Now you will find it in the folder and then after that you just see this window right here and you can of course just play the prototype, play the transitions that you just recorded, share the video of course using this button right here with any app that you want and of course you can also upload it to Dropbox or anything like that. Okay guys, this was a small tutorial and I hope this could give you some of an impression of the current uh, possibilities for creating screen transitions and basic prototypes. So you can do this basically with any UI kit or screen that you have available and it basically works like that. It's already having uh, like the basic features that you want and I think in the current months and the current like time There will be more features so you can create enhanced prototypes and screen transitions Okay, so thank you for your time and enjoy your day. See you yeah.